Hello guys, hope you had a great day. It's been about 8 years that Bootstrap is around, so if you don't know about it yet, this video will help you a lot. This is not gonna be a full crash course for Bootstrap, but I will be doing more videos about Bootstrap later based on your feedback. Today we are going to talk about Bootstrap, why we need to learn it as a front-end engineer, and we will talk about new features of Bootstrap in this video. Okay, uh, Bootstrap is the most popular front-end framework or uh, toolkit. It's powered by HTML, CSS, less in version 3, which is replaced with uh, SAS in version 4, which made uh, Bootstrap very, very powerful, and also JavaScript. It offers lots of pre-made HTML CSS elements and classes also. I should say that if I want to describe Bootstrap in one sentence, I should say it's con it contains lots of CSS classes and we just need to memorize those classes instead of writing them for each project thousand times. And it also has several pre-made JavaScript widgets for common usages like models, pop-ups, tooltips, and so on. It is also responsive, so if you want to build responsive pages, you can use Bootstrap without being worried about each screen size width. Okay, why we need to learn Bootstrap? It offers us rapid template design because everything is uh, made before and we just need to memorize them and use them Also, it offers us make websites without any design Sometimes your company or your customer asks you to build something very fast and you don't have the design for that Website so you can use a default template of bootstrap and by just customizing it a little uh, You will have your own website it's easy to learn and it's the most uh, beneficial point of Bootstrap for beginners. And it's browser compatible because you don't need to be worried about each browser. Does my code work well in, for example, IE or uh, Chrome or Firefox or not? And as I said, it's responsive ready and you don't need to uh, write codes uh, for each screen size and it's based on SAS, so it's very very easy to customize okay what's new in bootstrap version 5 there's no major changes between version 5 to version 4 but uh, it is much better organized now uh, there are better documentations in version 5 uh, there is no dependency to jQuery anymore, but if you want to use some JavaScript plugins of Bootstrap, you need to initialize jQuery. Uh, grid system enhanced, and you will have a new tire class XXL, and also you will have uh, additional features like vertical spacing. Uh, there are extra colors in Bootstrap version 5 and uh, hopefully IE 10 or 11 support is dropped so we can use uh, some cool features of uh, CSS and uh, you can also create custom utilities in version 5 on the fly and uh, CSS custom properties are added to version 5 and forms are updated you and what about installation? For installation, you can have two options. You can include the CDN, which is not good for customization, but you can also install it using Impim Package Manager, which you can install it using npm install bootstrap, but you should uh, add also at sign next to install version 5, because version 5 is currently uh, alpha version and uh, maybe in future we will have some uh, major changes so you need to be careful to don't use it for big projects now and wait until uh, it is on beta or stable version okay uh, when we use bootstrap we will get forms input groups 
tables, cards, progress bars, colors, and icons, which is improved in version 5, the nav bars, buttons, pagination, utility classes, and grid system, tooltips, models, drop downs, popovers, alerts, and so on. Okay, uh, thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn more about uh, front-end development, especially React, React Native, or Bootstrap and JavaScript, you can subscribe now using uh, below button and uh, please share your feedback with me about Bootstrap. Thank you guys for watching. For more information, you can watch these videos.